congratulations on the win over the Saints and getting to eight and two. Yeah, thanks, Mike. I mean, we continue to find a way uh, each week to find a play here or there to uh, put us over the top. It ain't always pretty, but it's beautiful. Go. Every game teaches lessons. What were the lessons the Titans learned coming out of the Saints' victory last Sunday? I mean, we talk about it all the time about complimentary football, all three phases complimenting each other. You know, I think that was the biggest thing coming out of that game was, you know, offensively we made some plays, we didn't make some plays. Same thing on the defensive side of the football. But special teams really kind of steadied the course there, came up with some plays in the kicking game to complement the other two phases to help us get the win. Are we talking about Ryan Tannehill and what he's doing enough right now? Um, he's an important part of what we do, um, you know, not only for the offense, but, at, but as a team. His leadership, his toughness, his grit, he's made some plays for us, some key plays for us, certainly with his arm throwing the football, but also running the football. He's vocal, he's a hard worker, he's tough, he's gritty. He's a key part of what we're doing here organizationally. What can the Titans offense do better? I think it's consistency in details, Mike. You know, you know, we got in, in, into some drives uh, against the Saints that that were that were positive. We'd hit a run here, we'd throw a pass here, make a big play, but then we, you know, we'd have a penalty or, you know, we'd miss this with this block or the detail of this route or this run track was off, and that would kind of slug us down a little bit. I think just the overall consistency with the execution and, and the details within the you know, execution of the play. Great to have Christian Fulton back in the secondary. Didn't look like he missed a beat. Yeah, it was certainly for, uh, good to have Christian back out there. I know he was excited to, to, to play. Yeah, back in that action. Let's keep it going. He triggered uh, against the run, had a couple big stops for us there in the run game, had a couple pass breakups, you know, against the pass. Like I said, he was excited to be back out there with his teammates, uh, an important part of the win for us. So we've got a lot of Titans fans in the northern part of Alabama for sure. Monty Rice was a Titans fan growing up in northern Alabama. Now he's a Titan. He has started two of the last three games. How's Monty Rice doing? Continues to improve, Mike. Just continues to get better to come in and, and, and work. He's made some plays for us in the run game. You know, he continues to improve in the pass game, where he's supposed to fit in this zone, how he's supposed to match this player coverage-wise. And he's been a steady presence on the kickoff coverage. You know, had a big play for us Sunday in the Saints win where he forced Harris out of bounds. He had a couple tackles the week before. So defensively and special teams, he gets better each and every week. All right, let's talk about special teams. You've already mentioned it. Mike Vrabel's mentioned it throughout the week. Why has this group been so solid throughout the course of the year? Well, I think it's an it's an emphasis for us. You know, right after squad meeting, we go to special teams meeting. It's you know it's it's at the beginning of the day. The importance of special teams, the execution of the fundamentals and the details in the return game. You know, if you can get 10 yards, that's equivalent to a first down for the offense as a drive starter. And conversely, on the coverage units, if you can get them pinned back. You know, it's hard for an offense to drive when they're backed up on, you know, inside their own 10. So those coverage units are, are paramount, as is the return game. Sunday at Nissan Stadium, we get our first look at the Houston Texans in 2021. Our first look at them with their new head coach, Sparta native David Culley. What jumps out to you about these Texans? Well, I think defensively, it's an attacking style front. You know, uh, Lovey Smith's running the defense there. I was with Lovey in Tampa. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of stunts up front. They want to play with speed, you know, in that front seven. And it's all about takeaways. I think they've got 14 on the season, you know, taking the ball away. So those are things that are going to be important defensively. Offensively, you got Cooks on at every receiver. Fast, explosive. We know what he means to that offense. Lindsey and Johnson at running back. And Tyrod Taylor's an athletic uh, quarterback with a big arm. So. And it's another, it's another AFC South opponent. You know, those division games are always pivotal rivalry for us. 